Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another very exciting, very windy episode here on the Up My Gardener channel. It's spring here in Michigan, and that means it's the windy season. It, you know, usually spring is considered the wet season. We haven't had a whole lot of rain, but we have had a whole lot of wind, and that's just, it's normal for here in Michigan. And it reminded me as I watched my poor caterpillar tunnel get ravaged by the wind that I need to get out there and support that because uh, during the winter time, we have we really rarely have strong winds. It's usually in the fall and the spring that we get just absolutely incredible winds that just never stop, that exceed 30, mile an hour, uh, 30 miles an hour on a very regular basis. And so today it's windy and it's actually not as windy as it usually gets. Uh, and so I wanted to seize this opportunity to come out here and I wanted to sash down the caterpillar, or the, uh, the caterpillar hoops on our caterpillar tunnel because underneath that are really tender spring greens that I wanna keep growing. And the problem is, is the end, the, uh, the end support hoops, as a lot of you brought to my attention, uh, did not have enough support. And I'm aware that it did not have any center support. I was trying to do it as cheap as possible, uh, and I should say as inexpensive as possible. Cheap has kind of a negative connotation, um, but I wanted to do it as inexpensively as possible to, to really see what was possible and then build up from there. So I've seen a lot of people use this method. A lot of you have written in saying it's awesome, and there's been a lot of people also that have written in saying it's awesome, but I wish I had some center support. So I also went out and I wanted to see what I could find that would be a really inexpensive add-on if you wanted some additional support. Um, so we are going to be doing that today. And so what I've got to do that are just two 11 inch stakes. These were two bucks a piece at our local hardware store. I was actually surprised by that. They are plastic, but you know I think they're going to serve their purpose. So two bucks a piece. And then I got 100 feet of uh, 150 pound paracord. Wish it wasn't neon green. It's a little, it's a little loud for my preference, but it's the functional thing that we're looking for. Uh, they didn't have any black, unfortunately. Um, you know, go figure, black was all sold out, probably because black is usually the color people go for. But, uh, I, you know, I got this neon green here and it only cost me 350. So you're talking four bucks, 350. This whole project or this whole add-on is going to cost under $10. This here, uh, Caterpillar Tunnel, cost us under $50. So really you're talking to add this on, you're still gonna be well within probably 50 or $60 for this project. And that's really affordable for what you're growing under here. As you can see here, some more pretty greens. I got that beautiful purple lettuce. That's our red sails. And we've got some tango. The tango looks absolutely beautiful. All right, so now that I've got the other end, one end is on the post, the other end is in my hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it through the post. Trying to keep it all gathered in my hand so it does not tangle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it backwards. So what I'm doing is I'm ensuring that every time I wrap, I'm always, I'm always basically pulling the hoop in this direction because since this is the end that's secured to the ground, every time I make a wrap, I'm wrapping it twice. And once I have a good wrap on that first post, as long as I don't let go of the end that's in my hand, none of that slack is going to be given up. So I can pull here, and as you can see, as long as I keep the slack on this portion, this, this portion here can't take up any of this slack because I'm keeping it tight. And then all I'm going to do is just continue pulling it, pulling it, set, pulling it down, making sure that my next post is nice and tight. It's going to right that side and then I just simply pull all the slack through. It's a little bit, I would personally have rather gone with 50 feet because 100 feet is a little bit uh, obnoxious. 
is the word I'm looking for. Uh, <laughs> but we're managing, it's just a lot to pull through all at once. But as long as you've got it all, as long as you've got all the, the craziness taken out of it, it doesn't knot too badly on you. So keeping this tight, we're going to go over the top and under, pull all our slack through. It's a little easier and a little easier the more you do because you're taking up some of that extra line there. Wrap it around one more time. Pull all your slack through. Always keep the tension on because it does not take much for that, for those other posts to pull the slack through. All right, so we're on our last post here. And just to clarify so that I can show you all kind of what I'm talking about here, it's really important you remember the under over on each post, you alternate. So we started wrapping it under that first post and then we wrapped it over top of that second post. Then we wrapped it under the third post and we wrapped it over top of the, uh, the fourth post and now we're wrapping it under. So under, over, under, over, under. And that helps it to, uh, to stay taut because if you do it all the same direction, all you have to do is just accidentally let go or for over time for things to loosen up and it's pulling all in the same direction, meaning that the line can become, uh, can become uh, loose over time. But doing alternating it ensures that it's actually pulling on itself when you alternate over, under, over, under. So it doesn't matter what you start with as long as you, as long as you alternate it. Now when we're putting this on, I'm going to always remember, attach the windward side first. Because if you attach the back, it's going to actually catch the wind and then pick it up like a sail. Wow, that made a world of a difference. All right, so we are finished. Looks a whole lot better. I am, I'm, man, I'm bummed I didn't think to do this sooner, to be honest. <laughs> regrets. Um, no, absolutely no regrets. I'm just glad I did it, glad I got it done. And, uh, and I'm, I'll be the first to admit, I was wrong. I thought there'd be enough support there definitely wasn't, especially looking at how structurally sound it is now. But it's nice to know that less than with less than ten dollars, it is sturdy as a rock. I and mean, we've had some gusts blow in here, uh, in between me setting up this shot and and what you saw, and it's all. I mean, it doesn't move at all now. And so uh, definitely is a whole lot more structurally sound for even less than ten bucks, and that's just awesome in my opinion. And the nice thing too is that you can use all everything. Um, the entire Caterpillar tunnel and all the supports can be used year after year, which means it's an investment that keeps on giving. So as always, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. Post in the comments box if you guys have decided to make this or any add-ons that you would do. Uh, and as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home, and we'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.